Hey guys, Kevin here with Skylab Flight Systems bringing you a quick video tutorial on how to update your unique Typhoon whether it be the Q500 Plus or the 4K or the Q500 or the, even the, 4, uh, the 4G. So, if you guys don't know, um, Unique just released new firmware for both the radio and for your drone and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys real quick how to do that. Um, what I'm assuming at this point though is that you've already downloaded the firmware and you have it on your computer. I am not going to show you how to do that. What I am going to do is show you guys how to use it or how to put it where it needs to be so you can do the update properly. Okay, let's get to it. Okay guys, to do the update, you first have to update your radio. You have to do that before you can update the aircraft. Um, it's the way it goes. So, what you need to do is you need to take the files that are separately downloaded for the radio because they are two separate downloads and you need to unpack those by unzipping them and placing them on the blank micro SD card okay then you're gonna take this micro SD card and you're gonna put it in the radio to do that you're gonna take the battery back off you're going to use the blue tab pull the battery out and then you'll see where the micro SD slot is. The metal piece that's sitting up, it, fa it slides up and then it will open. Then you take your micro SD card and place it face up where all the words are facing up. And then you close the metal slot or cover I should say and slide it back down and make sure it's in place so that the micro SD card doesn't move anywhere. Put your battery in, okay? Then, you're gonna power up. When the radio powers up, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hit system update. Or, I'm sorry, it says system settings, I apologize. Getting a little ahead of myself here, okay? So then we'll hit okay. And then we're gonna scroll down to where it says about flight mode control and we're going to pick that we're going to scroll all the way down where it says radio control update you'll pick that now you'll notice over here on the right side on the left side i should say it has a uh, .bin file that is your update file and it show it's showing there so you'll select it and make sure that it shows up where it says update tx once it shows up there you hit update TX and you let it run through its cycle and it's going to take a minute. Um, once it's done though, you'll hit finish. Don't go all the way out. And then you're going to scroll all the way down and you're going to do the system update. And you'll press system update and it's going to ask if you're sure you want to do that. You're going to hit OK. When you hit OK, it's going to start loading up that update that you just copied to the Android device. It's going to take about three to five minutes depending and it's going to load up and then it'll recycle and show up to the screen that you just saw. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to, when you get back to the home screen after it restarts, hit system up, system settings, OK, about flight mode control, and then make sure that you see the correct version sitting there. As long as you see that there, then your, your update was successful. Okay, that's it for the radio. Now we're gonna move on to the drone. Okay guys, after you successfully updated the firmware on your radio, you're gonna move on to the drone itself. Um, we are assuming that you've already downloaded the files for the drone update and that you've already installed the Q500 GUI program or graphical user interface program that's available from Unique's website. If you haven't done that before moving forward with this video, please go ahead and do that. Um, if you have, then here's the next step. The next step is, is you're going to take those black tweezers that we talked about earlier um, in the video, and you're going to get your drone without the battery in it, and you're going to stick the tweezers in there, and on the right hand side, inside of there, are some wires that are velcroed to the side. You're going to pull those out, Okay, that's the connection to your receiver. Once you get those pulled out and you can reach them with your hand, what you want to do is very gently 
disconnect at the connector. Okay, it's a very small connection. Let's just see if we can get a little close up of that. Okay, you want to disconnect that. The next thing you want to do is you want to plug in the USB dongle to the spot where you just unplugged the receiver on the drone. Be very gentle, don't force it. Once that's plugged in, you're going to push push those wires back inside past the battery barrier almost as if you were going to put it back in there. The reason for that is you've got to be able to slide your battery in now. So that's the next thing I want you to do is I want you to take your battery and slide it in there very gently. But make sure that you push it all the way in as if you were going to start up your aircraft. So what I want you to do now is start your aircraft, turn the power switch on, plug the USB dongle into your computer, and then open up the Q500 GUI program. As you can see, once the program starts up, and as long as you've done all the other steps, it automatically comes up and connects. So you're going to want to make sure that you can see all of the program itself. So what you want to do is go to firmware, and then pick firmware update. And it's going to go automatically to your download file. And as long as you've left that firmware update file in the download file, it will be in that spot. You want to make sure that it matches the newest one, and then you're going to pick then you're going to pick update. Allow the update to happen and follow all the directions then on the screen. Once the firmware has finished uploading, guys, uh, the next thing you need to do is follow the instructions on the screen. What are those instructions? They're going to be restart the quad rotor. At that point, once it restarts, you can go ahead and um, once the restart is finished, shut it off completely, unplug the USB dongle from your PC, and then disconnect it from the inside of the copter like we, like we connected it, just the reverse, okay? And then make sure that you plug your receiver back in, tuck those wires back up inside there so they won't get caught on the battery when you're putting it back in. After that, it's just a matter of testing it and you're good to go. If you guys have any questions or any problems whatsoever, please feel free to email me or the person that you bought your uh, your drone from, or even Unique, any of those people will be happy to help you out. Uh, if you guys are, are one of the ones that happen to buy from Frank at Carolina Drones, I know Frank is always ready to answer any of your questions. Um, he's always there. So thanks a lot for watching the video. Thanks for your time, and please fly safe.